Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to console into a switch or router. This is a pretty simple process and we'll start with reviewing the rollover cable, just basically what it is, and then we'll jump into an example using a terminal emulator. And finally, we'll finish up and just review some of the console port settings. That's perhaps the most important part of this tutorial and something you'll need to keep in mind. So let's get started. Okay, this is a rollover cable. This particular one is issued by Cisco. You'll see at one end there's an RJ45 connector. At the other there is a DB9. The DB9 will connect to the serial port on your PC and the RJ45 will connect to the port labeled console on the router or switch. If you haven't yet, take a look at the rollover cable tutorial for some of the details on how this cable is made up. But generally speaking, this is what you're looking for in order to console in. So once you have your physical connection set up, then you're ready to console in. So let's look at an example of that. So this is a terminal emulator, and just know there are many different distributions of terminal emulators. For this example, I'm going to use one that comes with most Microsoft Windows distributions, and it's called HyperTerminal. However, if you Google for terminal emulators, you'll find many free open source ones that you can use. So keep in mind, you have options there. Okay, so let's get started. What we do is we create a new connection and it'll prompt you for a name. It doesn't matter what you use and it doesn't matter which icon you use. So choose what you want. Normally when this pops up it'll ask you for a modem and we're not using any of that. What we're using are our, our COM ports. You may have a couple listed. Usually it's COM1 but this could differ from PC to P PC. And then we get to the actual port configurations and this is the most important part. So whether you're consoling into a switch or a router, they will always be the same. So bits per second is always 9600. Data bits is always 8. Parity is always set to none. The stop bits are always set to 1. And the flow control is always set to none. Again, these are the same every time. So commit these to memory. It'll save you some time when you're in a crunch and you need to console into a, a failing router. We hit OK and we may need to hit enter once or twice and there we are. We have our router command line prompt. You may or may not be prompted for a username and password. That depends on the configuration of the device. Here we were not prompted. That configuration is not on there. Just to review, the most important part of consoling into a Cisco router or switch, aside from the terminal emulator software, is the console port settings. So here again, just to review, 9600 bits per second, no hardware flow control, you want to use 8 bits, no parity, and one stop bit. And again, that's for a switch or a router. And there you have it. That is consoling into a Cisco router or switch. Thanks for watching.